I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is a breaking news story. This is a very delicate story to also cover due to the loss of two people. And my condolences to the family of both of the victims who have been named in court today as Mohammed Hashim and Saqib Hussein. If you think anything covered in this episode incriminates anybody for anything they haven't been charged or convicted of, please contact me at news at scarcitystudios.com. This story started on Friday, February the 11th, in the early hours of the morning. I received a lot of messages when this news broke, but due to the nature of it, I had to wait for a lot of information to emerge. And we have to be very careful what we speak about in this episode so as to not affect a trial and i really appreciate it if nobody says any gossip in the comment section that may also affect a trial first i will start with the police statement and then we will see what small media outlets because no mainstream media are talking about this story at the minute have got to say about this as well and also tributes paid to one of the victims Police said in a statement that three women have been charged with the murder of two men after they were pronounced dead at the scene of a crash in the A46. This is in Leicester. An investigation started on February the 11th after the collision occurred close to Six Hills Junction in the early hours of the morning on the same day. Two men were travelling in a silver Skoda Fabia which left the carriageway and they were pronounced dead at the scene. Leicester police have previously confirmed. The three women that have been charged are Natasha Akhtar, 21 years old, from Adam Rock Road in Birmingham, Ansreen Bukhari, 45 years old, and Mehek Bukhari, 22 years old, both from Stoke. And they have all been charged with murder. Leicester police have confirmed after the initial inquiries that two other cars were reported to have been travelling in the area at the same time as the collision. A grey Audi TT and a blue Seat Leon. Officers have arrested two men aged 21 and 27 from Leicester, also on suspicion of murder, and the two men are in police custody, and the force said in a statement tonight that a 20-year-old male was arrested on Friday on suspicion of murder, and has since been released with no further action. Officers were at the scene at around 1.30am, where one car had crashed into the central reservation, and one vehicle is believed to have burst into flames, and the occupants passed away. All three of the women appeared in court yesterday and they are charged with murdering the two men. They was all remanded in custody and are due to appear at Leicester Crown Court on Wednesday, February the 16th. So this is a fast moving investigation and three people are already in court for these offences. We can now officially confirm that one of them is maybe Blugs. Maybe Vlugs. She's a social media influencer and she's the 22 year old that appears on the charge sheet under the name Mehek Bukhari. She's known on social media as May Bukhari and she's very popular on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and various other social medias. The other woman believed to have been arrested is her mother as well, the 45-year-old woman. But that is all we will say about that due to the fact of the lack of media coverage. In this second part of the video, I'm first going to read tributes to the victim and then we're going to speak about May vlogs and what the media has had to say so far. The father of one of the victims has spoken out and paid tribute to his dear son. He said, The Almighty has ordained our time together, unbeknownst to us, and never did I think for one moment that I would have to bury you, my first beloved son, Saqib. My heart will forever be broken. With Allah's will, we are both reunited in the gardens of Jannah. Words cannot explain how I feel and the great sorrow and pain felt by my family and friends that you have left us behind, my dear son. Beloved by so many and hated by none, now you are martyred. The thought of you in Jannah gives me solace and in the hope that those of us left behind may benefit you and your friend, Hashim. A, a fund has been set up to build a masjid in the name of the victims and they want their memories to live on and they ask everybody to donate to this on uh, Just Giving as well. I'll leave a link in the description for this fundraiser. And my sincere condolences to the father of Saqib, who is called Saj Hussein. So of course it must be devastating news for the family to have to process this. So that would definitely be a brilliant way to celebrate the life and memory of the two boys as well. And I'm definitely supportive of anybody that does donate. In relation to who may vlogs it is, there's very little we can discuss, but I can definitely react to this article from Get India News. So they say that May Vlogs is trending due to the fact that she's been arrested and they said that her name is May Bukhari and she's a social media influencer that lives in the United Kingdom. They say she has an Islamic background and she is very popular on social media and active on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. She's an Instagram model and also the owner of maybe Custom Shoes as well and several other vlogs have actually confirmed that she was arrested following the hearsay that is circulated on social media. 
So as I said at the beginning of this video, this is a breaking news story and we need to be very careful of how we discuss this. I know it's very easy to start to gossip and you don't always find out the answers straight away. It takes a, a while to occur, but with this case, I think we will find out some answers very soon. So I definitely keep you updated. So I really appreciate you joining me for this episode and my condolences to the families of the victims and I'll definitely be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.